The EU's new General Data Protection Regulation has had a pretty noticeable impact on the games industry already. The independent statistics website Steam Spy was one pretty well-known casualty, looking like the site was going to get shut down for good. However, in a last-minute shocking twist, it looks like Steam Spy might, it might actually be alright. A few weeks ago, Valve announced they would be making changes to Steam's privacy policy. In order to comply with the European Union's new General Data Protection Regulation, or GDPR, Valve said they would be making user data such as games owned and the amount of time played hidden by default. The changes to the privacy policy meant tracking websites like Steam Spy could no longer operate like they used to. In fact, Steam Spy creator Sergey Galyonkin announced in a blog post he would be shutting down Steam Spy because the website relied on Steam data being public. Galyonkin tweeted, Steam Spy relied on this information being visible by default and won't be able to operate anymore. But plot twist, Steam Spy might actually still be able to operate. On April 27th, Galyonkin published a new blog post where he announced he had developed a new algorithm which would keep Steam Spy up and running. The new algorithm uses coincidental data and machine learning to predict the sales outcomes of games, but by Galyonkin's own admission, it's not very accurate right now. Galyonkin said the new algorithm usually falls within a 10% margin of error, with the exception of a few outliers. He gave an example of the recently released Frostpunk, which sold 250,000 copies, where his new algorithm estimated it had sold 252,000. It's also worth mentioning Steam Spy has limited functionality right now, while Galyonkin reworks the site to incorporate the new algorithm. Speaking about the future of Steam Spy, Galyonkin said, quote, I'll keep on iterating the new algorithm while slowly bringing back the core functions of Steam Spy. It'll take some time and it's still possible that Valve will make another move to shut down the service, but until that happens, Steam Spy will continue to operate. So this is a little update to the story we did recently about Steam Spy being shut down, effectively because Valve did a simple change to their uh, privacy settings for all their users, so they set everyone's library uh, which was previously public, you could see what anyone had owned or played on Steam. They'd set that to private, so you had to actually go into your settings and change it to be public if you want to show the world what you've been playing. And Steam Spy was a great website, a great resource that used, that kind of looked at all that data, looked at all the games that people owned, how long they'd been playing it, and all the kind of related statistics from that, and to tell us how successful games were and how many copies had been sold, how many people were playing it. Suddenly, that was all gone, and Sergey Galyonkin is saying the site's dead, well, now it seems like it's not dead. It's kind of an unusual thing because it was using, you, know, like you were just saying, public data that is known and, and made available. No guesswork, no algorithms, no coincidental data. And now it looks like Steam Spy is going to be relying on, um, I, I guess, glorified guesswork. I know that sounds a bit negative, but it's machine learning. I guess that's a posh way of saying it. But basically, he's testing it out here and there and Frostpunk was one of the tests that he did and it seemed very very accurate although, although there do seem to be some anomalies so far I guess he's just owning that in before he makes it public so I guess he wants to really make it quite accurate before he says anything about it I'd be interested more to see how this gets done how do you kind of use coincidental data what is that and how does it work to, to help people find that out it seems like it, it's a useful tool and it's a great resource for uh, people like us and just people in general you want to gauge the success of your games i'm sure even like developers don't get the official stats sent to them by valve oh, on like a daily yeah. basis so this is you know it's a really great tool for everybody and to get it accurate and to get it still existing it's good but yeah how accurate can we be with guesswork fair play to for him to keep going I guess and keep trying he says you know they might do something else that screwed that screws the site over but for now he's working on this algorithm and there will be something there in place uh, for the time being at least so keep an eye on Steam Spy it's not dead uh, and there is still more to it even though he said it, it it was dead essentially he said it can't operate anymore and then he said not dead 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 not not dead just dead I don't mean like dead in the sense that it's not alive anymore I just mean just dead, metaphorically like, like yeah it's, dead now it's dead Alive. It's dead alive. It's yeah. properly alive. Yeah. So do you use Steam Spy? How important is it for you? Are you going to use this new look version of the site with powered by algorithms and machine learning or whatever? Let us know down in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Now there's another video right there which you can watch right now if you want and a link to Patreon of course if you want to support the channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.